Good morning and welcome to Tuesday the 31st of March. The reason I'm smiling is because I did just record a version that said welcome to Wednesday the 31st of March. Anyway, welcome, welcome. We hope that this finds you well uh, and we are praying that you stay well, uh, which leads brilliantly onto the subject for this morning, which is prayer. And prayer is a bit of an odd one to some people. If you were to say the word prayer, they would picture hands together, eyes closed. That was made up, I think, by some person somewhere who didn't want kids looking around or fiddling with stuff. But maybe kneeling by the bed at night, giving some requests, that sort of thing. All, all perfectly valid. But I think if we're going to understand prayer in any way, then we have to understand who we are praying to. Jesus was asked, how do I pray? How do we pray? The disciples came to him and said, how do we do this thing? And Jesus said, OK, here's where to start. Our Father. And that's where he started. Our Father. That's who we are praying to, a father. We're not praying to a strict head teacher who's thoroughly disappointed in us. Like, where have you been? Or someone that we are trying to wring an answer out of. Not at all. It's a father. And so that really is our starting point for when we go to pray for anything. And the reason I'm mentioning this today is because Asher Vineyard, uh, on Sunday, we launched Say a Little Prayer, a brand new initiative that means anybody, anybody can email in Say a Little Prayer at ashervineyard.org. And we have a team of people waiting to add our prayers to yours or pray on your behalf and and ask God for that thing that you have requested to go to him as a loving father. So say a little prayer at ashervineyard.org. We would be honoured to pray with you. Have an excellent day and we'll see you tomorrow.